Awaiting the King is nourished by St. Augustine. It's nourished by Oliver O'Donovan. But it's also really nourished by my own location in the Reformed tradition. And in particular, in the legacy of John Calvin, Abraham Kuyper, Herman Bavinck, what is sometimes broadly described as the Kuyperian tradition. I think this tradition for over a century has offered unique resources for thinking about public life. It's, it comes with a robust theology of creation and culture that underwrites our participation in public life and political life. It also comes with a really unique legacy of thinking about pluralism, of difference. It has a rich account of why creation itself sort of generates different spheres and different responsibilities and different institutions. So for a long time, it's been thinking about why pluralism is a good thing, while also grappling with some of the challenges of pluralism. So in that sense, I'm really trying to bring some of the resources of the Kuyperian reform tradition to bear on contemporary public life. But I'm also pushing back on my own reform tradition as well. I'm reforming reformed public theology. I think in a couple ways. One is um, I'm trying to make the church much more central to how we think about our political witness. Not because I want the church to take over the world, but because I actually think our formation in the life of congregations is where we get the imagination we need to be faithful public witnesses who are laboring in culture and for the sake of redeeming culture. So in that sense, revivifying the centrality of the institutional life of the church is one of the kind of accents I want to bring to that reform tradition. The other is our public life and our public theology has to be nourished by the thickness of the gospel itself, by the scandalous truth that the creator king became human, that he died that he rose from the dead, that he ascended, and that he's coming again. That kind of specificity of the gospel has something to say to our political life, to our political institutions, to our public life. And so sometimes my reform tradition has been a little bit embarrassed by that degree of gospel specificity. And I'm trying to sort of nudge us in the direction of re-embracing that uh, as crucial to our political theology.